Welcome ka tropa in this video, tatlo po yung pag-uusapan natin. Una, ano ba ang IP address? Pangalawa, paano po natin malaman or makuha yung IP address ng mga devices po natin sa ating network? Number three, paano naman po natin palitan yung IP address ng mga devices po natin from dynamic to static? So, ano ba ang IP address? IP stands for Internet Protocol. So, Internet Protocol Address. It is a logical address. Meaning to say, it can be changed, it can be removed, and it can be reassigned. So, sino-sino naman po ang pwede magpalit, mag-remove, at mag-reassign ng IP address? So, pwede po tayo, mga users. Pwede din pong network administrators, especially sa malalaking networks. And it can also be automatically done by the routers. Siyempre, with the built-in DHCP server features or the dynamic host configuration protocol. Now, let's move on sa four types of IP address. So, number one is dynamic IP address. So, Ano naman itong dynamic IP address? Ito po yung IP address na nagbago-bago from time to time. Usually, yung si router po yung nag-assign dynamic IP address. So, kung makikita po nyo sa inyong phone na naka-DHCP po yan or sa inyong PC na naka-obtain IP address, then you are using a dynamic IP address. Number two, static IP address. So, ano naman static IP address? In contrast po sa dynamic, ang static po ay hindi po siya nagbago-bago. So, permanent IP address. Usually, yung nag-set po nito, na-set po ito manually ng users or ng network administrator. So, kung sa smartphone po ninyo ay nakaset po yung static or sa PC po nyo nakaset po yung use the following IP address, then you are using a static IP address. Number three is public IP address. So, ano naman tong public IP address? The best example po ng public IP address is yun po yung binigay sa atin ng ISP po natin. Every CPE or customer premises equipment na binigay po ng ISP po sa atin, PLDT man yan, Globe Converge, um, meron po talaga silang binigay na public IP address. Which na makikita po natin sa one or yung one IP Yan po yung public IP address po natin. That is useful to access the WAN or the wide area network or the internet and vice versa. So po, from, ent from internet to your home network, pwede din po yan using with the help of public IP address. The other good example ng public IP address is the websites. Like for example, shopee.com or facebook.com. So, gumagamit lang po sila ng domain name. But in reality, yung ina-access po natin dyan is public IP address. Let me show you how. So, kung ipiping po natin yung um, shopee.com, makikita po natin na hindi po shopee.com yung naping, kundi yung public IP address. At kapag kinakopy po natin yan, at nilagay natin sa web address bar, we will be redirected to shopee.com. At ganun din po, sa facebook.com Now, the last but not the least is the private IP address. So, ano naman ang private IP address? Ito po yung ginagamit po natin sa ating LAN or local area network na usually uh, class C IP address na nag-start po sa 192, 172, at 10 sa mga piso Wi-Fi vendor dyan. So, since na-mention ko po yung class C IP address mga katropa, let's move on sa IP classes. Actually, meron pong limang classes ang IP address. A, B, C, D, and E. Pero since naka-reserve na po yung D at E, mag-focus na lang po tayo sa top 3 classes ng IP address. So to start with, ito po yung class A. It can support up to 16 million hosts or devices. Ito naman po yung class B. It can support up to 65,000 hosts or devices. At ito naman po yung class C, it can support up to 254 hosts or devices. 
Meron pong dalawang versions ang IP address, the IPv4 and the IPv6. IPv4 or Internet Protocol version 4 is a 32 bits IP address that can accommodate up to 4.7 billion hosts or devices. The IPv6 naman or Internet Protocol version 6 is 128 bits IP address that can accommodate up to 340 and decillion hosts or devices that is trillion of trillion of trillions of devices. This is a self-help tech guide, so help yourself by not skipping any part of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ayun, paano naman po natin kunin ang IP address ng devices po natin sa ating network? So if you are using PC, all you have to do mga katropa is to press the Windows logo plus R for the run command. And then sa run command, type po natin yung CMD. Then hit OK, click OK or hit Enter. Then sa command prompt po, type po natin yung IP config. Then hit Enter. So yung nakikita po ninyong IPv4 mga katropa, that is the IP address ng iyong device. And yung default gateway naman po is yung IP address ng iyong router. If you are using phone naman mga katropa, all you have to do, I suggest, is to download and install the IP config app. Then, open pa natin yung IP config app. Same lang din yung makita pa natin, yung IP address is the IP address po ng iyong device. At yung default gateway or yung gateway is the IP address of your router. Paano naman po natin i-change yung IP address ng mga devices po natin? From dynamic to static. So if you're using a Windows PC, all you have to do mga katropa is... To press the Windows logo plus R for the run command, and then type in you yung control space panel. Click OK or hit enter. Then punta po tayo sa network and internet, sa network and sharing center, then dito sa change adapter setting. Yung Ethernet, right click lang po natin yan, then click po natin yung properties, then hanapin po natin yung IPv4. Click Properties. Then, from Obtain, check nyo po yung Use the following IP address. So, type po ninyo yung IP address na gusto po ninyo. Then, click kita, button. Then, yung default gateway which is the IP address po ninyong router. Then, type nyo lang po yung gusto po ninyong DNS. Then, click OK to save the changes. Paano naman po palitan yung IP address ng ating mobile phone from dynamic to static? So all you have to do mga katrapayas, punta po tayo sa settings, then sa Wi-Fi, then forget mo na natin yung ating Wi-Fi, then open natin ulit, then open natin tong, click natin tong advance option. Then palitan natin yung DHCP to static, then sa IP address type po natin yung IP address na gusto po natin, dapat sa same subnet lang po sa ating network, same subnet lang po ng ating network. Then, yung gateway is yung IP address po ng ating router. Then, sa DNS, kahit apat na eight lang, ayos na yan. Or apat na. Then, type po natin yung password ng ating Wi-Fi. Then, connect. So that's it. Ganun lang kadali mga katropa. Palitan yung IP address na ating smartphone or phone or mobile phone from static to from dynamic to static. Did you learn something? Get this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and subscribe for more. I'm also happy to see your comments.